In this video, I am going to be going over how I deliver my photos to my clients after I've edited and exported them from Adobe Lightroom. So the session that I'm going to be going over is from Abrina and Sam's couples portrait session that I did actually for a mentorship um, where I was mentoring another photographer. I am going to take these exported photos and use Pixie Set to deliver them to my clients. Um, you can use Pixie Set for more than just sending photos. You can host your website through them. They have a store where you can order prints and your clients can order prints. And then there's also a mobile gallery app option. Um, but I am just going to be sending photos through an album. So I just go to Manage Collections. Here you can see all my other ones that I currently have up. New collection. And under Give Your Collection a Name, I'm going to write Abrina and Sam. I can pick a date if I wanted to, like if it was a wedding date, but I am not going to worry about that for now. So under here, you just want to go to Add Photos. You can drag your photos here or select photos from your computer. I'm going to select it from my hard drive. And couples of engagements, a brand Sam. And then I'm going to do Command A because I'm on a Mac or Control A if you are on a Windows computer. Um, as you can see though, something I've noticed is when I select my photos, it doesn't always select them all because it doesn't load and it's always around 132 photos every single time. So I'm just going to re-press Command A and that should grab all of them, 178 photos. I'm going to click Open. It doesn't take too long depending on how many you have to upload your photos. You can see the progress bars right here as they go and it goes pretty fast because they're all just JPEGs. Alright, so afterwards you can click just manage photos and I can reposition them if I wanted to just to rearrange the order of the pictures in the album. If I click change cover, always keep the same typography, grid style, and color just because that's my preference. And then I always switch to frame. That is a pretty good photo to start off with. For a cover photo, I might change it in a little bit. Um, as I could see over here in the phone version, that was a little bit off centered. So I just hit select cover focal and move it over. And that looks so much better. If I hit preview down here, it'll show me a preview of what it will look like when my clients open up their album. And oh my goodness, they are so cute. You can click on photos to enlarge it. And this is what they will see if they do the same thing. And you can click through it. They can add it to their shopping cart. They can favorite it. They can share it. Or they can put it into a slideshow where it will automatically play through the photos every few seconds. Oh my goodness, I can't get over how cute they are. Okay. So going back here, I'm going to go to collection settings. This is their URL. I usually keep that the same, but make sure that it makes sense. I don't put on any auto expiry, I just go back in and delete it when I want to, but I guarantee my photos, their photos will be up for 30 days. Um, again, I don't do email registration. I do put on the gallery assist, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you saw what it looked like before, but now when I hit preview, what it's going to do is take me and my clients through steps and tips on how to use their gallery. So you walk through cards, which are super helpful. Under privacy, I could put a collection password if I want to, but right now I have it open. I have it showing on my homepage. And I keep pretty much everything else as is. I can favorite. And I have my store on so that they can print on the store that I use. 
Another print lab that I use is WHCC Lab Fulfill. Under here I can just see some activities with this. I'm just going to rename highlights to Edwina and Sam. Abby. So that when they download it, that's the name of the album. Then when I'm ready, I'm just going to hit publish and publish now. And this only takes just a few seconds as you can see. Then this is a preview of what the email will look like when I send it to them. I can choose different themes, but I just keep it with the classic because that's what I like the best. Have my logo again up here, the head image that I selected before. I always, always have to make sure that I click download pin so that they know what the download pin is when they get their pictures and when they want to download their photos. And then I'm not going to go through like adding their email address or my message because that is private, but that is basically what I do when I send it.